I've only tried eggnog once years ago, and I thought it was terrible, like old melted ice cream spiked with cheap cooking brandy. But today, Bridget's gonna try to get me to try it once more. I'm so sad for you. You've mm. never had good eggnog. Mm -mm. Yeah, well, you probably had the supermarket stuff out of the carton. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> it's not really good nog. Really good nog should be creamy, kind of like a custard or a creme mm. anglaise, a little bit frothy and pleasantly spiked with booze. Okay, and I like how you call it nog. Not eggnog, just nog. It's nog. I know it well, <laughs> believe you me. So we're going to make a cooked eggnog. Now a lot of the historical recipes are uncooked, and that's because they would spike it with so much booze that the mm. booze would kill anything. So we're gonna make a cooked one, comes together very easily. We're starting off with four cups of whole milk and just a little bit of salt. This is a quarter teaspoon of table salt, just using it as a flavor enhancer and helps to balance the sweetness a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer over medium high heat, and we'll just keep an eye on it while we mix our custard. We're starting off with six eggs. These are large eggs here, but we wanted to make this a little bit richer, so we are adding two extra yolks. Mm. And then for sugar, we've got a half a cup plus two tablespoons, just a little bit sweeter than a standard custard because it's the holidays <laughs> and calories don't count. <laughs> so I'm gonna whisk this together. Just takes about 30 seconds, but really what I'm looking for is for this mixture to come together, all those egg yolks to be completely broken up and the mixture to be incorporated. There she blows. <laughs> all right, the milk is up to a simmer. So now we're gonna temper these egg yolks. I went ahead and put the bowl right onto a towel just to anchor it a little bit. So I'm just going to gradually whisk in this milk mixture. And if it starts to get away from me, I'll just pause and then add more in. All right, so that looks good. Now these are going to go back into the saucepan. Okay, so now we wanna put the heat on medium low. We wanna cook this a bit more gently. So I'm gonna stir it constantly and really kind of scrape the bottom and the corners. And that's gonna go for about two to five minutes. I'm looking for a temperature of about 160 to 165. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna switch off the heat. Anytime you check the temperature with the custard, good to turn the heat off. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm looking for about 160 to 165. All right, great. Perfect. So now let's get it out of the saucepan. So I'm straining it to get rid of any little bits of egg that might have overcooked. But I don't wanna press any of the solids through, but mm -hmm. anything on the bottom, that's great. So now, this is just a custard. Yeah. Right? Let's turn it into an eggnog. In my opinion, it's not an eggnog without a little bit of liquor. <laughs> this is a half a cup of brandy. You could also use bourbon, so we'll go with bourbon, or a dark rum. And we're adding it off heat because we wanna preserve that little boozy bite. And this is a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Same thing as with the liquor. We wanna preserve that fresh flavor. And then a half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. You know, we did try a whole bunch of other spices like clove and cinnamon, but nutmeg really came out on top. It's traditional. We're going to put a little plastic wrap on top and this is going to go into the fridge. You wanna let it chill at least three hours, get it nice and cold, but you can do this up to three days in advance. Mm. All right, we have our beautiful chilled custard, mm -hmm. but really it's just a brandy custard at this point. It's not yep. really eggnog. Eggnog should be frothy and a little bit fluffy, and we're gonna get that from whipped cream. This okay. is a half a cup of cream, and I was going to whip it to soft peaks, but one thing I know about you, when we're out on the road, anytime that there's cream <laughs> to be whipped, you have to do it. I do, I love whipping cream. I like being timed. Yes, all right, one Mississippi. So I'm just looking for soft peaks there. No, I don't want to over whisk this. So it's getting thicker, you can see. I'm going to slow down a bit and you can tell me when because this whips so fast. Less than 30 seconds to do by hand. Now that's pretty soft. That's perfect. All right, so I'm going to use the whisk and add this to our chilled eggnog mixture. Now this is where you can play around with ratios too. If you wanted to make an eggnog without any alcohol in it, that's fine. You just want to reduce the cream to a quarter cup mm -hmm. whipped. And then if you wanted to make a high test nog, like go full out, so you could add a whole cup of liquor at the start, Ooh. you would want to increase the amount of heavy cream to three quarter cups. Ah, so you can find these variations on eggnog and more at our website. All right, this looks like gorgeous eggnog. I mean, when I take my whisk and go across the top, you can just start mm. to peek at the custard underneath, but it's got that frothy top. Mm. So a pretty eggnog deserves a pretty punch bowl. Aww. All right. I'm getting a little nervous here, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I just, I'm worried that I'm not gonna like it. Girl, I got you. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> have I ever stood? Well, no, don't answer that. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> One final flourish. A little freshly grated nutmeg. Doesn't need a lot. No. Stuff is potent. All right, bottoms up. Cheers. Makes everything taste better. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. This is really good. Well, first of all, it doesn't taste like melted ice cream. It just tastes like a good custard. And it has the right measured amount of alcohol. It's just mellowed with the flavor of the nutmeg and the cream. This is like a little blanket. Oh. It envelops you in warmth and spice and, <laughs> and richness. This cup is going down easy. Uh -huh. All right, I'm a believer. Glad I converted you. So if you want to make delicious eggnog, start by making a simple custard using eggs, sugar, and whole milk. Cook until the mixture reaches 165 degrees, then pour through a fine mesh strainer and add the brandy, vanilla, and nutmeg. Chill and then whisk in whipped cream just before serving. So from America's Test Kitchen to your kitchen, a fantastic recipe for holiday eggnog. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.